Hi everybody. I want to tell you just before I go to work about the perfect timing that um, occurred with regard to the way that things unfolded. You know, uh, it's kind of amazing. Um, we got the notice yesterday midday that we were that we were cleared for the most difficult and second to final step in the in visa immigration process for my wife's green card. And with that, uh, that means that it's just the interview that's left, and that's. I don't see, foresee any problems with that. So the, the reason the timing is amazing for two reasons, three reasons actually. First, yesterday was an important day for if we, my wife and I, we, we, we meet every day at, um, for lunch and dinner. We share, we share one meal every day together. Uh, and that is, um, and for me I have dinner while my wife is having lunch in Japan and we, we text back and forth. She's, we can't actually talk because she's actually in the, in the cafeteria at work. And our plan for last night was to get together to make our final decision about when we were going to pull and what we we're going to do with Emily because the school year is ending in Japan and we had to decide are we going to, are we going to pull her out of Japanese school system and pen, you know, pending our, our movement to, the, to, the, to America or were we going to uh, put her through enroll her again because school start, ends in March and begins in April. Enroll her again so that she can continue to go to school until we until we got to the point that uh, um, they were ready to come over. Last night was the decision night. We were going to make that decision. Well, clearly the decision was made for us. <laughs> and uh, so Emily, uh, I think this is the last week for Emily. I was trying to get that information. I I, I, I was just checking with Molly and his school is, in, is, is over this week. So I think that's the same for my daughter. Um, I should know better. <laughs> I should know. So that means that uh, my daughter basically tomorrow, tomorrow I think is the last day of school for her. So, and, uh, and the other one is that my wife, um, she, she works at Oak, just a terrible place to work. She's a lunch lady and this place, they, they've just, they really take advantage of their employees. It's not a good place to work and I've been wishing she would leave that place forever. But she's stuck with that job for a long time because it's a, given that it's tied to the academic system for the, to the schools, she, her schedule is a match for my daughter's schedule. So she gets home before our daughter, she's at home when my daughter comes home, when her daughter comes home, and then she's off during summer break, spring break. It's a perfect match. It was a great job in order that she wouldn't have to work while Emily was free. But as, as a result, and a lot of mothers work there for that very reason, but as a result, because the, the I don't know if it's because of this or whatnot, but the, the uh, employer takes advantage of that, and they really do, they, mis they mistreat their employees, including my wife. It pisses me off, and I've been wishing she would quit. I hate that place. So <clears throat> yesterday, she had a scheduled an appointment to meet with her boss to sign a contract for the next year. Now, she has, there's, there's, there's clauses that allow her to escape the contract, so she could continue working for a few more months and then get out of it. Um, so it's not like she was trapped into it, but she was going to sign the contract yesterday, literally hours after we had our conversation but you know she was going to do it midday and she got we got the message in the morning and so she was able to go and i told her get in there and tell them you can take this job and shove it you know and uh, i don't think she said i don't know how, how do you translate that into japanese i don't know so that's good so she was able to tell her boss you know go to hell <laughs> and she's done so tomorrow is her last day of work it's also our daughter's last day of school there it, it just the timing was just bam nailed it and the, the second one, or the third one, was the timing for the overall timing. Emily's, the way that this timing is working out, which train sits where I live. Can we, can we see the train? Oh, there it is. Can you guys see the uh, train right there? I'm going to miss this neighborhood and all this stuff. The third one is that, uh, oh, the strippers are going to pop out, but it's looking good. The third one is that uh, uh, Emily's schooling. This is really pretty amazing. Tomorrow is her last day as a middle school student. She, I think the word is matriculates out of middle school and will be going to, she would start in April in high school in Japan. She's going to finish middle school and then start high school in the United States. It's the perfect time to end because all the other students, it's a, it's a goodbye for everybody, parting ways. And then when she gets here, she'll be starting school as a freshman, a ninth grader in the United States. Everybody will be fresh and freshman. Everybody will be brand new. She won't be coming in midstream. Really l lucky timing on that. And I'm really pleased about that as well for the fact that um, 
at this level, leaving leaving Japan as an, as a graduating from the middle school student, she's achieved a level of Japanese fluency, both written, write, writing, and speaking, that she'll retain for the rest of her life. So she will be functionally able to participate in the Japanese language for the rest of her life at this point. And I think, and as I keep telling her, and I, and I like the light over here better, you can see the sunrise coming on. As I keep telling her and I keep telling my wife, you know, she's doomed. She's going to be, uh, she's doomed to become an American now. She has no choice. Go through four years of high school, you're, you're going to be one of us. So our goal was when we set out in 2003 to forfeit our life here and begin a new life in Japan, our goal was to do so in order to give Emily the, a, 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 a rich experience in both cultures. And um, it looks like the timing is good. I probably, if I could have played my cards better, I probably would have brought, brought, preferred to have brought her over maybe around age 12 rather than 14. I think the, the transition would be a little easier. But I'm hoping she'll be okay. She sent me a message. I wonder if I can find it. Because, hold on. Oh, Molly's texted me. You know, chit, chit, chit. I want to show this to you guys. I have my connection with my daughter here online, which is a... Uh, Okay, so I, you can see here, I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, is it focus? I wrote to her and I said, I said, Emily, when do you want to come? I said, what did I say? Hi, Emily, when do you want to come to America? And her response was, today, now. And I gave her a thumbs up. Now this was, this was last week, at the end of last week. This is before we got the news from the embassy, from, from the U.S. government. So she's, and Mimiko's, my wife's been telling me, she's ready to come. She's, she's eager to come. And so, um, uh, I, so even though I'm a little worried about her her age, it's going to be a little harder, but I think she's ready. So good timing all around, but now, speaking of timing, I need to get to work. But um, I couldn't sleep. It's going to be a hard day at work. I could not sleep last night. I just was up. I can't believe my girls are coming. All the things we have to do, planning, making it all happen. I contacted the realtor yesterday to begin our, our stuff. i got so much to talk about, but I'll talk about it in more, more future videos. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. See you. Oh, there it is. Hi. I, I never turned it off right. See ya.